Tupac got killed in 1996. How badly did it affect you when you heard? Well, Tupac got killed and I'm, I wasn't surprised. And that's sad because I think everybody kind of saw like, how can this guy still be alive after he got shot the first time and the second time? And then now a third time. Well, no, he got shot once. Well, there, there was another time he got shot? You're talking about besides the New York studio? Well, there was a quad studio yeah. shooting. And then, of course, Vegas. What was the, and the third time? There's actually another one. There's two more you don't know about. And I uh, got shot at. And I, I heard about skimmed. that. Yeah, I heard about that. Skimmed. skimmed. Okay, I didn't know that. So it didn't go to, he went to the hospital for it, but didn't, wasn't life-threatening. Okay. So, uh, could be even more and I don't even know. But my point is, is that how can a guy have all these bullets flying at him and still, you know what I'm saying? We all kind of, it's a crazy story and I, I got to really watch what I say on all this because I do know too much and I'm not going to elaborate. Fair enough. So I, I let that unfold and I'm glad it's unfolding and I'm glad that some justice may be getting done, but it ain't going to bring him back, bro. And we lost a great person because of, Greed, money, power. We lost a great poet. Not to drugs like the other people that we had been mentioning and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but to, to a gun. Yeah. Well, just recently, Keefe D got arrested for the murder of Tupac. Yeah. And I did the Keefe D interview four years ago where I basically, how I say, solved the whole case. He told you were the, the one story. who did that. That's right. I saw that. I just now put that together. Vlad. Yeah. I did see that. And right. I was like, how did he incriminate himself on there like that, right? And then well, that's what led to opening up the investigation again, right? It was a big part of it because, well, he had written a book and I got the first interview with him based on that book where I had him lay out the entire story from beginning, during, and after. Good job, bro. You pulled it out. Good stuff, man. You know, everything leads to something and what you did probably led to the opening of the investigation because, you know, LAPD don't want to open up some old file 30 well, it's years Las Vegas ago. PD, actually. It was Las Vegas, but you're right, Las Vegas. They don't want to open up a file for 30 years ago and why? Let it be gone. And I think they wanted the message to be saying, well, see, if you go out there and do gangbanging and do that, trying to leave a message, propaganda again through the news channels and shit, you know, that this is what happens if you go out and live a gangster lifestyle, you die like Biggie and Tupac. That's not true. You know, it's not true. If it's true, then everybody, every, everybody, every gangster rapper would be dead, right? It's not, it's not true. Tupac, unfortunately, got, his talents were so great that too many people wanted to take a piece of him. Yeah. Too many people wanted a piece of that money. And I think it killed him. Mm, yeah, unfortunately.